Now, there's a lot of love for Brian Robinson in the streets. The momentum is happening. And I told you a couple days ago, and even the week before, pick Brian Robinson off of your waiver wire because things are trending the right way, okay? And he's got a decent matchup. The Chicago Bears give up the seventh most fancy points to the running back position. But I want us to slow our roll a little bit because I think that this is a three-headed monster in Washington. My rankings have Brian Robinson running back 36, Antonio Gibson 38, and J.D. McKissick 43, because they pretty much all shared the same amount of snaps. Brian Robinson, nine carries last week on 27% snap share. He ran four routes, but he wasn't targeted at all. And you have to think, in the Washington football team offense, the close to the line of scrimmage targets are going to be more for the Curtis Samuels of the world, right? Curtis Samuel with 4.5 <laughs> yards per target, like average of the target. So no, I don't think Brian Robinson's going to command. And even looking at his time in Alabama, right? If we look at um, uh, his college target share, I mean, he had 11 receptions in part-time role in 2019. He had six receptions, in 2020 in a part-time role. And then even in a full-time role, he had 35 receptions in 14 games. So it's not like he was used as this, you know, elite pass catching back and you've got McKissick and you've got Antonio Gibson, who was a wide receiver in Memphis. So there's not really reason to think Brian Robinson is going to be more than just like a grinder between the tackles. But if he can start getting, I mean, he already had nine carries, get up to 12 carries or 13, 14 carries, and he falls in the end zone, like that could be running back to status. But I'm not willing to go hog wild. This was not a we're giving Brian Robinson everything to start game. And maybe this is the one week I take the L on it, but I'm not starting Brian Robinson uh, unless I really have to this week. He's running back 36 for me. I know a lot of the consensus are are really hyped about the story. And I do want him on my roster, but more of an investment. I'm not confident starting him this week. Okay. Uh, he's splitting snaps. He's I don't know who's going to fall in the end zone. Heck, J.D. McKissick was getting some goal line uh, carries um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, so yeah, one red zone carry in week four for JD McKissick. Like this is almost exclusively a pass catching back. So Brian Robinson, uh, I am lower than my peers on this week. Uh, 